Hello, everybody. My name is Benny, and welcome to The Fool's Apprentice. So today, we're going to be doing a book review. Uh, this is The Tales Behind the Tarot. Uh, I really like this book. It's actually a really, really good book. But before we go there, I think we should discuss the new background. <laughs> um, I wanted to update my tarot space, my video space. And I thought one of the best ways to do that is to use color. And I wanted to go darker. My whole home is that one blue color that you saw before. And so I wanted to add some depth and just a different feel to my home without really having to do a whole bunch. And I thought adding a darker blue would be great. In fact, I wanted to go much darker, but Steve was like, oh, I don't know if I want the darker background. So we compromised and found this color. And <clears throat> the more I sit with it, the more I really like it. At first, I wasn't really sure. But last night I had a mini meltdown because <laughs> I did a kind of a test run to see what it would look like a camera. Why is my chair so, the chair feels so low. I don't know what's going on. <laughs> Distracted squirrel, squirrel. Uh, and when I saw it on camera, I about had a fit because all of a sudden I saw how I didn't like it. And I felt very, very overwhelmed. And I felt like I made a really big mistake because I liked the way my videos looked before with the background. And I got really, really down and Steve noticed and he was like, we'll paint it back if we need to, which is his way of being very supportive and comforting, letting me know that, you know, everything was going to be OK. And it is. It's, it's a color. It's paint. It's not like I can't change it. Right. But in the moment, um, all of these lofty ideas of what I wanted to do kind of came crashing down. But right now, looking at my little camera, I'm thinking it looks OK. I just put stuff back there just to give me some space between me and the wall so you could see the uh, the depth. But uh, I have some ideas that I'm going to do. There were a couple of people on Facebook that gave me some ideas. Maybe you have some ideas. I don't know. I can't use them all if y'all if people give me ideas. I mean, I even use any of them. But, you know, you never know. So that's what's going on. <laughs> oh, my God. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. All right. Well, I'm going to flip the camera over and we'll get started. And I'm back. This book. I love this book. The Tales Behind Tarot. Discover the Stories Within Your Tarot Cards by Allison Davies and forward by The Witch of the Forest. There are several things that I like about this book. First is, I like that there are four independent stories within the book. We got The Fool's Journey, where he actually meets each and every archetype, which I think is fabulous. Then we have four independent stories with all the suits. And they're very different stories from one another, different characters, and all have their own lesson to learn. And I really like that it's written in fable form. Uh, and not necessarily fairy tales, because one, the stories aren't long enough. There aren't these really outlandish creatures. Um, and so that's one of the things that I like. And I also like that the stories don't overlap uh, between uh, the suits and the uh, major arcana. I, because it just makes it easier to kind of recall the stories with it with in the cards as you go from the ace to the king. So nice hardcover book. Nice backing. I love the color choices that they made with the book. Let's see if I can get it to focus. Here we go. Step into the mysterious, unforgettable world of tarot and discover the illuminating tales behind the 78 cards in the modern tarot deck and this introduction to the tarot unlike any other. And for me, that is true because this is not a guidebook. This doesn't really deal with a lot of 
intricate symbology explanations, uh, you know, color meanings, none of that stuff. Every tarot card has a story to tell and is rich in symbolic meaning. In this gorgeous book for aspiring and experienced tarot readers alike, expert practitioner Allison Davies brings the stories being told within each card to life. Follow the fool on his journey through the major arcana as he travels down the path of life, meeting iconic characters along the way such as the hermit, death, and the high priestess. Learn the stories of the four suits in the minor arcana, discover how three sisters rise to power in the suit of pentacles, and watch as the world-changing idea of, is born of the suit of wands. With themes to help you understand the meanings of these iconic cards, use this storybook as a tool to learn the tarot so that you can take your tarot reading to the next level and apply their unique wisdom to your own life. Very nice. Now, I will say, uh, <laughs> very lofty uh, statement is... Uh, Use the storybook as a tool to learn the tarot so that you can take your tarot readings to the next level. I think for someone like me who still considers himself a novice, who doesn't have a complete uh, mastery of the meanings for each card, I think that that actually would be true. For someone who's been doing this for years, who does tarot readings, for someone who if tarot feels second nature, maybe not so much. <clears throat> so let me zoom in and we'll get started. All right, let's see. Focus, great. So, you know, nothing spectacular. We got the table of contents. You know, the forward and then the introduction. How to use it. Okay. You know me in color. Color is my thing. The colors that they use in this book, like I'm talking about the the page color, they're spectacular. They're they're my perfect aesthetic when it comes to hues and tones. I just love them. So right here tells you a little bit about the major arcana. Has the traditional traditional writer right Smith imagery, and. Right off the bat, we go right into the cards. There is no fluff in between. And look at this color. Isn't this beautiful? And you're going to see that I highlight areas. These are areas that I highlight that actually have meaning to the cards that you would see like in a guidebook, but in story form. Uh, so there is a good amount of information here that kind of gives you what the essence of the card is in its traditional meaning. What I really like is the how descriptive uh, the author is in creating this image, this feel, this experience as each card comes up. And so I'm going to read this paragraph just so you get an idea of how she uses words to really give you a clear sense of the card. Once upon a time, there lived a fool, a young boy with the world at his feet, and a dream in his heart. So full of joy was he that he walked in a daze and lived in the here and now. Some might say his head was full of air, but they would be wrong. The fool was fully aware of every single thing, for he engaged all of his senses and moved through life with ease. It's true he had much to learn, but he also had much to teach, for when you wander as a fool, you wander freely with openness, and this allows you to fully connect with your surroundings. Love it! And I just love how, you know, he has a lot to learn, but he also has a lot to teach, which just lets you know that he's, he's just not some idiot going on a travel. Another thing is that I really like this. It validated one of my keywords that I use for the fool while studying, and I'm still studying it, the terra volatile. One of the words that came up when looking at the fool was the word brave, because I see this fool standing at an edge, looking out and ready to go off into the world, a world that hasn't been found. And I find that to be very brave. And so here she writes, 
The fool was brave and bold, a spontaneous self who was prepared to take a chance. And that's really how I see the fool. So having that, the word brave in there, giving me this image of who he is, his essence, just really, really resonated with me. And all the highlights that you're going to see actually have the kind of meanings that you would see in a guidebook, but in story form. So as you can see, there's a lot that I can pull from the fool that really gives me an essence of what the card generally means. Another thing that I like are these uh, daily reflections. I would call them a daily reflection. Uh, here it says the fool card marks the beginning of a new cycle or journey. Keep your head up and step boldly into the future. Now, Don Michelle does this thing with literature and her tarot cards where she'll take either the title, she'll take a, a certain sentence that speaks to her, and she creates a spread. This would be perfect for that. So, like, I could pull, I, I could ask a question. So, the full card makes the beginnings of a new cycle or journey. So, like, if I do a daily pull, so what do I need to be on the lookout for as a new beginning today? Or how can I look at today as a new beginning as I go to work? Or whatever you want to do, and then you pull a card. Then you can also go keep your head up and step boldly into the future. Pull a card with the question of how do I work through my doubts and trepidations in making decisions at work or in my daily life or at this party or at this meeting, whatever it is. And then you can pull a third card for whatever it is that you need. Like, how do I accomplish the goal today? How do I keep things present and mindful when working with uh, the message for the day? Whatever you want to do. Uh, and I just those made I made those up right now, so don't judge me. I just came up with something, but that's how I think I could use these, and I think that would be a really, really good practice as you work through the major arcana. And so again, look at these colors. Oh my God, I love this color. This would have been a but if I had thought about it, I probably would have made this blue my background because uh, it's actually really, really nice. So it gives you the number of the card, you know, the name of the card nice and bold, love the font, very simple, gives you the themes, gives you four of them. This one has manifestation, inspired action, creative impulses, and power. And then you get the original uh, Rider Waite Smith image. And, and it's just a beautiful story. So like the magician gave me a lot to work with. And again, thought of the day, just notice the colors very beautiful, lots of really good information. Um, and one of the things that I had mentioned earlier that it's different than like the traditional guidebooks where it doesn't really go in depth with the symbolism, which isn't necessarily true because it does here. We'll, we'll just use uh, the Hierophant for an example. Here he talks about, you know, wearing the uh, three robes, one blue, one white, and one red. Um, just like his triple crown, it became clear that this was to signify the three realms over which he ruled, the conscious, the subconscious, and the su superconscious. So they do talk about the symbolism within the book. And I like it like this because it's easier to digest for me. Now, do I remember everything I read? No. But um, the more I delve into the book and reread it from time to time, the more it it is stick. Um, and they really flow well from story to story. Uh, every meeting that the fool has uh, is an independent story that leads into meeting the next uh, archetype. So very, very well written. Very happy with it. And some of these give me a lot of information, and some don't. Like the tower, really great story. Just a couple of things that are traditional that uh, I I, can, I pull from for, for the meaning. 
but mostly a lot of them give me a lot of information or enough information that I'm satisfied with the book. So now that we come, we come to the minor arcana, uh, and you get an a page, a colored page with the suit and the title. And here I don't highlight anything because the pages themselves are colored. And I didn't know by highlighting it what that would do to the actual text. Would it make it too dark for me? Would it change the color in a funky way that I wouldn't like? So I just decided to leave it alone. And the Ace of Pentacles deals with three sisters, you know, magical coins, and really how they find their purpose and meaning and become successful in life as they go through each and every card, which I think is amazing the way they were able to do this. And then when it, isn't this a beautiful purple? And I'm not this kind of a lavendery purple kind of guy, but it works. Now the swords deals with a girl and a prince and how they, through the cards and the story, find their place in the world, which I really thought was an adorable story and there's you know there's a there's a lot of conflict uh and you get invested even though the story's not very long you get very very invested or let me phrase that i got invested with the characters very very quickly and i just couldn't wait to read the next card to see how their journey was going so then we have this uh suit of cups which is really pretty and um this is a like a family tale uh, of sorts of uh, two people. Uh, and it's really, it deals with a lot of emotion, which is perfect for the card. Really strong emotions on, on top of that. So this this really is like somebody's life story in 12 cards. And then finally, we get the wands. Oh, I love that color. And the wands is really about an idea that's personified. I hope I pronounced that right. And uh, entrepreneurship, which was really, really cool. And how this idea that somebody had really affected not only himself, but his village, which is a really good story. And like I said, they're very, very independent of each other. And at the end, you get a conclusion, you get some additional resources to, to go by, acknowledgements, they have an index. Why we didn't add just one more page to make the index text bigger, I don't know, but there it is. I think probably because they don't think anybody would use it. This is a really, really well-written book. It's a brand new book. It was just published uh, this year by Leaping Press. You can find this on Amazon. It's just shy of 20 bucks. I'll put the link uh, in the description below so you can find it. I think it's really well worth the money. Uh, if you like reading stories, this is the book for you. Again, I highly recommend it if you want something different than a guidebook or some kind of instruction manual for tarot. <laughs> and until next time, my name is Benny and I am the Fool's Apprentice. Have a good day.